I'm with Sanskriti Davle in the Thinkerbell Labs, and she's going to tell us about a product called Annie. Hi, thank you for having me. So this is Annie. Annie is the world's first Braille literacy device. It helps children learn how to read, write, and type in Braille. So we start right from uh, you know large size Braille displays for young children who are learning dot combinations, and we graduate to standard size Braille. Uh, we also I'm stop you for a real quick second. This yeah. is also for an audio audience. So imagine the whole audience is blind. All right. And so describe what you're what you're pointing at. She's okay. got a box that's uh, maybe 10 or 12 inches square. Yes. And then you just pointed to some yes, giant on, Braille. Uh, yes. On the top dots. left of this box, we have uh, two giant Braille cells, and then uh, sliding over to the top right, we have six standard size braille cells eight dots each then going below we have a Perkins style keyboard with soft touch keys and then right below that uh, we have uh, the world's first digital writing slate so for braille so you can use your normal stylus and uh, uh, you know emboss uh, your dots and Annie which is the name of the device uh, Annie is named after Ann Sullivan Helen Keller's teacher and Annie teaches children uh, you know how to acquire these skills of uh, reading writing and typing by or through audio guided lessons and games oh, so okay that, so that, that, that's now a lot of my audience is not blind but they'll be listening to this so you said there's uh, I've always been confused by this these big the big Braille displays are two sets of six dots yes but the standard ones are eight yes so how do you learn using six dots but you actually need Go eight to eight yeah, so uh, the six dots are mainly intended to familiarize students with the two by three uh, dot layout. Uh, typically, uh, people use uh, you know egg cartons or your muffin tins so that children can learn the two by three uh, layout of Braille. Is two first. by three just letters, but when you do eight, you can do punctuation. Or you can do you can do a lot more with eight. Like in fact, most refreshable Braille devices have eight dots because you use the bottom to as cursor as well uh, to indicate how you're reading or writing in terms of. Uh, well, document creation, note taking, that sort of thing. So the, the design intent of Annie is once uh, children learn on Annie, they should be able to pick up any Braille device out there that they want, whether it's, uh, you know, paper and traditional book or whether it's an, uh, uh, an advanced RBD, they should be able to use all of it. And so we train them for all of it. The, the six dot ones is just for the, uh, you know, dot combination learning, while the eight dot one is the one we... Uh, actually support so in English for you have grade 1 and grade 2 Braille across six dots but we also support a host of other languages uh, in India we have 14 Indian languages and uh, we're also supporting Arabic in the Middle East and uh, you know so, uh, so eight dot is standard Braille yes uh, for for some languages we do use eight dots for the Braille itself I did not know that that's really cool so there's there's a six little pads I can I can press on and that's doing the the it, that's can only do six dots, right? Yes. So, uh, so, yes. So there are also these two the dots under it. If you do need to use the um, other two dots, which, excuse me, for English is not the case, so uh, we don't go into that for the English uh, lessons. But of course, for other languages, uh, they're mapped to these eight keys in total. Oh, I see. I yes. see. Can you make it talk to us at all? all right, Where, where's go. the speaker? Is that here? This is the speaker. Okay, I'm yes. gonna just put the mic down by the speaker. All right. Braille. Okay, do you want to play Wacker Braille? Yeah. Oh. Let's play Wacker Braille. In this game, I will tell you which Braille dot to press, and you will have to press that dot down on the large Braille display. For example, if I say dot two, you have to press dot two down on the large braille display. For every dot you press correctly, you get a point. You have 30 seconds to whack as many dots correctly as possible. So the quicker you are, the higher you score. Press space to start the game. Press left to listen to the instructions again. But, so that's whack a braille like whack a mole. Yes, yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah you get I want to play. All right, let's go. Steady. Seconds. Go. I don't know what. Dot. Okay. Go ahead, press anything. I'll tell you whether you're right. Use the large braille oh. cell dot. That's dot. Set. There you go. Dot. That's good. Four. Now you know what dot six is. Let's see. Uh, Oh, 
I'm, I rock in this game. I can play whack a braille. Yeah, you can whack a braille all day. But so, yeah, basically, so for children who don't know how to get started with uh, something like this, or, or they, they might not have a, a braille tutor, you know, sitting with them every single day. So that's where Annie can help because uh, you know your teacher. Well, you scored three points. Well done. <laughs> Yay! Go, yeah, go, go me. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so uh, Annie uh, connects to an online platform called uh, Helios that, uh, that you know, allows teachers to uh, assign homework and uh, create vocabulary with cu so cus for custom dictation tests and things like that in keeping with what the child is learning in the classroom along with their peers. Okay, so is Annie sold through school, the school district and stuff, or can somebody buy this for the home? Well, in India, uh, sorry, in, uh, in the USA, we partner with APH, so they sell Polly through the quota program. Uh, Polly is the U.S. cousin of Annie, and uh, Polly has U.S. accent English, uh, uh, you know, phonics, uh, some lessons with YouTuber Jack Hartman, and uh, well, yeah, overall it's adapted for the U.S. students, and uh, you can you can get Polly through the APH website or A sure. APH. Yes, American Printing House. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, do you uh, sort of you know talk to a U.S. audience primarily, or um, more more U.S. than elsewhere, but. We like everybody. Okay, so uh, Polly, uh, Polly is available in the US via APH and we're also available in the UK, uh, Ireland, Australia and New Zealand via Humanware. Oh, very good, With, via Humanware you said. Yes. How much does it cost? Uh, so uh, it, via Humanware it costs around 1,500 pounds depending At on... Volume you said? No, via Humanware it oh. costs 1,500 pounds because all of these are country specific pricings. In the US actually, uh, since Poly is available under quota, you have APH retailing Poly at $1,000. So it's, it's a really great deal. Oh, great, great, great. Well, thank you very much. Again, the company is Thinkerbell Labs yes. and the product is called Annie or Poly, depending yeah. on your country. Uh, thank course. you very much. Thank you so much, Alison. Thank you for having me.